Hello everyone, it's me. I know you're all excited. Yeah, we're back. It is still technically the end of February, and we are going to be looking at the Inkopolis DLC, which released literally yesterday. So there you go. Just give me a second to set up these thumbnail thingy mabobbers. All right, okay. So. As dictated, we're going to be looking at the DLC. I'm not really going to play. All right, I, I didn't know where my sound went. <laughs> but that's really all it is. I'm just going to look at it. Get, we're going to discuss it. Blah, blah, blah. Because the main thing is, is this worth five bucks? The answer is, I don't know. So we're gonna see if this is anything at all, because the game did update, apparently, as well. The deep cut anarchy splatcast? Hey! I you doing? It's me, Big Man! I'm like the best character in the game, except Little Dude! You lip sync with your think? Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Big Man, you have a big nose! Are you okay? You're shook. Hey! Uh, it's Grizzco. Oh boy, we already know about this. That's uh, big run alert. We're under attack. Is that what that means? The Salmonids are coming? Hey! Ink Blood Art Academy. Maybe they're like artsy Salmonids? Ooh, or maybe they just want to learn. Hey? Oh, they take classes? You haven't had taken Splat History 101 yet? Never mind Splat History, I'm gonna show those salmon it's a Splat Future. Let's go. Yes, let's expel those salmon it's like so many delinquent children. Eh? Eh? Hey! So yeah, there's a sneak peek of the new boss, basically. Uh, we'll have a special reward. Prepare yourself, Steve Cut. Let's get the grits cut to start of the big one. Woo! Hey! Yeah, update. What is it? New season is here. It started now? It started now. I'm not doing it now. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. No. Why does it start? It started two hours. No, F off. Uh, let's see what Fry is here for, shall we? And I'm gonna use some of these new weapons. God damn it! I'm not doing this today. Ugh. Back yourself out. I'm just listening to what Sheldon says. I might be the only one. All right, mommy ruins Manta Maria. Listening. No time for another one. New stage is just drop. Hey. Ah. Uh. We have latest from Grizzco. Yep. Hey! What is that thing? New type of King Salmonid. Pictures in the highest quality can't quite make it out. Feel there may be some real life sightings. Watch out. Hey! Check the site for details. And that's it. Alright, I got some good news and some bad news. Which you want to hear first? Good news! Then I can pretend I didn't hear the bad news afterwards. Alright, well, if you can believe it, they're finally done rebuilding the train station. Hey? Hey? Wow, that took forever. But it's gonna be totally worth the wait. Hey! Hey? Folks from Megapolis can come here. Our turf. Look at how our parking will be. What? No, I can barely find a place to park my yields as it is. Hey? Alright. Do I get to... Alright, no I don't. We're, we're just... I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Shut up. Shut up. I, I'm just gonna look at the area. 
Get up! Ugh. That's it. Alright. Yay! I effing hate that it started today. No. Wow, new season. Wow. You got a new count. Fresh season, that's what it's called. Alright. Construction of the train is complete, so you can now visit Inkopolis with ease. Don't know Inkopolis? Well, it's a bit like Splatsville, but a little more shiny. You go here. Here's the entrance to the train station. Now that it's easier to go back and forth, we're hearing that all shops are better stocked. So if you had your eye on some new gear, it's a great time to do a little shopping. Alright, so apparently what that dictates... I'm not talking to her yet. I'm doing that tomorrow. I don't care. I don't care. Basically, the shops are bigger. Which they kind of are. I can sort of tell. Because it's like this. Might as well buy these. No, they're, they're new. We're not touching these yet. I'm not buying anything. So that's essentially what that means. I'm going to go over this tomorrow. Because, yeah. Th there's a lot to go over tomorrow. I I'm dictating it as tomorrow. I don't care. No, shut up. I don't care about you. God damn it. I wish I knew that. Then I wouldn't have given a damn. God damn it. Ugh. It it's too late. I already dictated it. What do you mean visit the city? What? Wait, you can go to another city? Oh boy. It's ancient times. All right. Oh, God damn it! Welcome to Inkopolis. This is the plaza where all the freshest folk come to chill like krill. Most Inklings and Octolings are obsessed with the hottest sport in Inkopolis. Ink bottles! My crazy top ink building is Inkopolis Tower, the city's most famous landmark. There's a lobby on the first floor of Inkopolis Tower for online battles. This is the Booyah Base, a shopping mall for all your Inkling and Octoling needs. You can buy all kinds of fresh gear and weapons to use in battle. But the shops are pretty exclusive and they won't serve you if you're not fresh enough. Looking for part-time work? Not particularly about employer reputation? Grizz Co. is for you! If you want to visit another city, you can hit up the train station here. But also... Don't miss the shoal! It's the place to splat and be splatted in Inkopolis. Local Inklings and Octolings meet here with friends for co-op and competitive local play. You might want to steer clear of that back alley. It smells a little fishy. That's it for the tour. Whether you're hoping right into battle or work at Grisco or even just vibing, enjoy. All right. So. We're not gonna check this out. I'm gonna check the other three for the shopkeepers. See if they have any dialogue. If at all. Oh. Hello. This is my shop called, um, Cooler Heads. You seem pretty fresh, I guess. I wouldn't mind if you wanted to, you know, have a look around. It's Annie from One. Our specialty at Cooler Heads is, you know, gear for your head. All the ones we still have these gear abilities. They'll help you out in battle. Yep. I like how it's the old music, too. I like that a lot. You can, um, press that to learn about them. Please don't ask me more. Anyway. Welcome to Jellyfresh. Thanks for shopping with me today. Have we met before? I've studied language and fashion, but I'm afraid I can't remember faces. Well, anyway, you look fresh enough to buy all the body cloths I have in stock right now. Shop around. Funny thing about body cloths, they have their own abilities. If you want to learn more, go ahead and press that anytime. Yo, what's up? Welcome to Shrimp Kicks. Oh, for real? You're already fresh. That means I can show you all oh, the shoes we're dropping right now. And you know the shoes we carry come with gear abilities, right? Oh, because I did not want to try to explain it. All I know is they look fresh and they help you do fresh stuff. But hey, go ahead and tap that for more info. 
I hate his stupid model. No, no, no! Alright. Um. So, you get some shops, basically. You got the card battle just shoved away in the corner. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is general? General. What? Are you serious? Nintendo! What is this? I know they didn't have much to work with, but... There's... What? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean it's just an effing arcade machine? It's actually super dumb. This is to go on recon, which I'll do tomorrow. There's your amiibos. Birds. Oh my god. So that's the show for multiplayer stuff. There they is. Uh, apparently the the animations aren't super great. I'm just gonna sit here. I mean, I can kind of tell. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's a little. Okay. All right. That's I think the single player entrance, and they just box it up. Really? Nothing with that. You got post. Maybe is where you can make drawings supposed to show some. Oh, it's this thing. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. I'll look at this tomorrow. Like, they could have put it here, if anything. Then we also have our good friend Merch in the back. Or Spike. What's happened to me? Hi, can't believe the likes of you would come around and visit the likes of me that you're a blooming star. I'm honored, mate. Oh, it is odd. You remind me of someone I used to know. I mean, the absolute spitting image. But it couldn't be you. Nah, no way. Anyhow, as always, feel free to scope out using that and ring me up to put it in order. Hey, I love. What's that, I smell? Oi! It's a mistake, will it? You got super sneeze sales on you. I have to be pushy, but why don't you hand them over, yeah? See, I can use them little lids on top of the snails to raise your gear's star power. Randomly re-roll abilities if you got three full slots. I don't need the lids myself. Nah, I'm after the gooey stuff on the inside. Maybe you didn't want to know that. What else are you going to do with them? You can trust me, mate. And I'm going to super see snails, yeah? Yep. That's him! And that's it, basically. I, I really wish I saved this for tomorrow and just dictated it as the new season. But God damn. I can't. This this is actually really stupid. Like, a lot. It, it really is. Music's good. I'll just let this play. Um, okay, so the shop keeps at least have dialogue upon meeting them, which is good. If it didn't, I'd be pissed. The the i their their icons are different, which is good. Their, their dialogue I'm not really going to look at. Apparently, they, um... For when they state the weapon descriptions, they talk about what Sheldon effectively says, but at the end state, but that's what Sheldon states kind of thing. So just kind of rehashing what he would normally do. So it kind of sucks that there's no unique dialogue, but they do stuff outside of that. Um... We'll find this out properly tomorrow, but apparently the Squid Sisters won't announce the anything 
Which, I kind of get why, but I still think it's a bit dumb. Is there anything unique with this, like at all? I'll look at this, because I don't think this will do anything. I'm just curious. It's Little Dude! What are you doing in there? Oh. Okay, so it just shoves me in here. Alright, oh, I, I might as well look at the pre-order bonus thingy. Well, it, it's not really pre-order bonus, it's, it's more like bonus. That's not it. Oh yeah, that's just what it is. So, this is something you get for buying the DLC, so you get a bunch of tickets, most of which are useless, 123,000. Um... So, I'm dictating this as that. Like, I showed it up on stream at some on a prior stream, but... Yeah. The banner at the bottom, the Kelly Marie thing, apparently they added that because... The rewards were kind of meh. Yep. There's the banner. Alright. Now when I leave, where does this take me? Let's find out if it's transitioned properly. Okay. Um... I think that's it. Oh yeah, I wanted to dictate that the cards on the table turf are just shoved in the corner. So, I, I really hate that Tabletop is just shoved into the corner instead of having its own, like, little back alley in the main area. I get that they couldn't do anything with it. Streaming! Alright, sorry. I, I, I get why, because, you know, it's like, uh, the, this area isn't really built for, ink op for table turf in mind. I like how they show up still. These are like the big thing that people like to play with. Um, I, I still think this is stupid. Recon's in a fine spot. Like, I have no complaints with Recon, it's just next to where you start. Uh, I'm more curious about the visit this city. Like, I think it was dictated that side order, apparently, it showed the hub area of Splatoon 2. So maybe when you beat it, you can use that area as well, which, that'd be nice if the nostalgia works properly. But, I don't know. It's like, is this worth five dollars? You know, is this area worth five bucks? And it's difficult for me to tell. Like, the expanded shopkeeper stuff is cool. Oh, you know, I, I didn't check. Oh, what? That was cool. What the heck is that? Uh, go into headgear, I think was the shop I looked at earlier. So, most of these should be... Yep. Well, you're I'm fresher than fresh. I might need to restock, so I have stuff stylish enough for you. Oh, I have something in stock there. You already own some. You can raise its star power or trade it in. Raising the star power gives you more ability slots. It raises the XP earned. Trading it in exchanges yours for a new one with, um, different stuff. Those sound like fun, right? Wee. Ha ha. Ha. But yeah, this, this shop is basically the same as the other one. I do like this. It's actually a new dialogue. Welcome to Jelly Fresh. Thanks for shopping with me today. Whoa, just keep getting fresher. I don't think I haven't noticed. Hope you find something you like. Ah, so you want to learn more about star power and trading in items? This is what I've trained for. It's pretty simple, actually. Raising an item star power adds more ability slots to the item and also makes it possible to gain body cloth XP faster. On the other hand, trading in body cloths give fresh abilities to the body cloths. I hope that makes sense. Happy shopping. Yo, what's up? Welcome to Shrimp Kicks. Dang, you are fresher than ever. Not that our shoes can't make you the freshest. 
Hey, looks like I've got some kicks in stock that are dupes with a pair you have. That means you can trade them in or pump up the star power of the pair you already have. Pumping up the star power gives you more ability slots or more XP, while trading in means you can get a new primary ability. Yep. My mouth hurts. <laughs> Yeah, so they do have unique dialogue, which, as dictated, is a good thing. Like, full stop. Let's see if there's another set. And if not, then... Hello. Alright, that's it. Okay. It was very short. It's only like 20 minutes. God damn. But yeah, basically everything else is the same. I... I really don't know if this is worth five bucks. Like, it, it's with a new catalog and season and everything, which kind of slightly balances it, but it really doesn't. Because the extended shops... Oh, actually, no. It, it's... I forgot another bed. Same inventory. Do it ahead of time. Yeah, it's not super psychotic, which is fine. It's not a bad thing. I do think it kind of sucks a bit, to be honest. Um, I wish that table turf was done a little bit better. I wish that this was done a little bit better. Because it's just really awkward to just have them to the sides. Uh, let's see what else is there. I don't want to start any games. Like, I, I want it to be clean slate tomorrow, basically. I, I really thought it would start tomorrow, though. I'm really pissed it didn't. <laughs> My god damn. I get why, because, like, a lot of it is just going to be within today. And it would just feel stupid for it to start at 7 p.m. tomorrow, but still, I'm just kind of peeved. Oh man. A little dude. It's little dude. Little dude! It's little, little dude. It's little dude. It's little dude. At least we got to see little dude. But yeah, that's it. That's the DLC. There's really not much else to it. So, yeah. General opinions, I, I don't really know if it's worth five bucks. Maybe I'll mentally confirm it tomorrow. But until then, I'm just gonna head out. So yeah. It's it's supposed to be nostalgia. You know, that that's the thing. It's supposed to be nostalgia. It does it relatively well. But, and obviously I know it's not gonna transition very well with the newer stuff that got added, i.e. Table Turf and Hot Lantis. I still don't think that the expansion pack should have been 25 bucks. Honestly. I get that this is supposed to be 5 but it's really difficult to tell. So, yeah. You could argue that the price gets slightly balanced out by the expansion, but by the expansion pack purchasing bonus, which is the which is the 123k coins, the Cali Marie banner, and then the bunch of tickets. Which, for context, it's like when they give you a higher chance of getting the respective ability, or they boost your XP, and that's really it. They're basically useless. In the long con. So, yeah. That's that. I am curious about the whole visit this city, and I think once the side order comes out, I'll I'll get a better idea on it. But yeah, that's it. I am going to head out. Technically, the stream was supposed to be a lot longer. It was supposed to be Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe, Magalore, and Minigame Bonanza for like four hours, or just till my brain cracked, basically. But... Then I found out at work today that this came out, and yeah.
I probably could have done more on the mini games, but it's fine. I'll just kind of take the rest of the night to just kind of chill out. So with all that said and done, I hope you all have a good rest of the day. I hope you all have a good rest of the night. I hope you all have a good rest of whatever. I'm going to go in until next time, which is basically just going to be uh, properly looking at the new fresh season 2023 and all that other stuff. Goodbye.